guys welcome back to my channel so today what i wanted to share with you guys is some of my current favorite um matte lipsticks liquid matte lipsticks and then i wanted to share with you oh, please bear with me so yeah so i just have this little goodie box of some stuff that i pulled to the side that i wanted to share with you um which are some of my favorite matte liquid lipsticks that I have currently right, so you can see what they look like and I can talk a little bit about them and all that great stuff um, I know people some people appreciate videos like these because sometimes like lately these um, these liquid lip glosses have been very popular and some of them to be honest are not worth your money are not really worth buying and then some people just don't like the different um, so each company has something a little bit different that they do with it and it just doesn't work for everybody. I can show you guys the lipsticks that I'm about to try on. I'm going to try to go from lightest to dark, but I'm trying on different brands and each brand has like, probably going to try on like two, at least two colors of each brand that I picked up. Oh, currently, um, a lipstick no-no was this Wet n Wild lips it was this wet n wild liquid i think it's supposed to be liquid to matte lipstick it was a no-no sometimes wet n wild makes great lipsticks but this particular one the formula was just really bad on it so i'm actually going to keep this just in case they come out with another they try to make um some more liquid lip colors that maybe have a better formula i believe these were like literally like a dollar each. I bought two of them. I think I ended up throwing away one because it was just really bad. But this one wasn't too bad, but it was still bad, if that makes any sense. Just like any of the liquid matte lipsticks, it does have the, um, I forgot what you guys call it, what you guys call it, a foot? I don't know. It still has that applicator for applying, the same applicator that all the liquid lipsticks have. called Back to Fuchsia and it's the Wet n Wild Matte um, Lipstick. So it actually applies on liquid and then it dries matte. So looking at the camera, like when you guys see it on me, it is a beautiful color. I, it's a very lovely color. It's very bright, very bi vibrant. But the only thing is that when it dries, it actually like your lips stick together and it's a really sticky consi consistency the formula doesn't really dry on matte like it, it dries matte but your lips stick together once it's done it's already cracking and i've only had it on for like five minutes i don't know if you guys can see that so um like i said the formula on this is not that great but at the same time, it was only a dollar each. So what can you expect from a product that was only a dollar each? I don't recommend buying this at all unless you mind the lipstick cracking on you within like five minutes. Um, and and if you don't mind if your lips are sticking together, it's so for me, it's not. I'm not really a fan of my lips sticking together. And to be perfectly honest with you, when I wear lipstick, I don't even rub my lips together. I just apply more. I wipe it off and apply more. So me like my lips sticking together like this okay well it dried up a little more so they're not sticking together anymore but the it's already cracking and I'm not liking the way it feels cracked so yeah it just makes my lips really dry and I'm not really a fan of this so the next um, lipsticks that I want to show you are from NYX so NYX is my favorite um, branch to go to for liquid lipsticks um, they've been making liquid lipsticks for quite a while already and they've actually come out with um, they have like a cream matte lipstick then they have actual liquid lipstick that dries on matte so I'm going to show you the ones that I own currently and these are all my favorites so uh, my old time favorite is their soft matte lipsticks. So these are like their, I guess, OG matte lipsticks, which I love. So this color is San Paolo. 
but I just like it because it really conditions your lips and it's not too much. So that's that. Um, I'm going to show you guys is Antwerp. I don't know. They got some weird names for these lipsticks, Matt. So, but this is again the soft matte cream lipstick. lipsticks I'm going to show you are another fave. Um, so these are actually their first cream um, liquid, well this is a queen liquid suede lipstick. So they still are a matte lipstick. Well they look matte when you put them on. I got the two colors that I got is Stone Fox and Amethyst. I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyway, so the first one is like a very bright purple. And this is one of my favorite colors. Very bright and vibrant. It still has that foot applicator like on a lot of the dry to matte lipsticks. So the one thing that I like about this lipstick is that it's very creamy and the colors are very bright. Um, I swear I thought these were like a matte finish, but anyway, um, well it's a cream lipstick, but I really like the color. This color is very bright, it's very creamy and it doesn't dry up my lips. Um, okay, so it does dry like a little bit of like a matte looking type of color it's not yeah it's very bright as you guys can see but yeah i really like this um this color just yeah and and then just the formula is really good also and then i'm going to show you guys the other color And again, the formula is feels the same in this gray one also. So the one of their last liquid lipsticks that I've actually picked up and um, that I actually really like is their lingerie, was it lingerie um, lipstick line? Is their dry? Is their liquid to dry, liquid to matte lipsticks? And this one is in Beauty Mark. So I actually only picked up one because I wasn't sure if I was going to like this, but it has the same foot applicator. dries on matte and once it dries off it doesn't give off that sticky cracked feeling now um, one thing I do like about this is the way that it feels it is drying but I don't feel like it's going to crack up in a couple minutes like the first um, lipstick that I tried in the NYX lipstick and that's why I really like it so I actually plan to go pick up more colors in this lipstick they actually if I'm not mistaken they came out with I think like 10 colors I recently saw them at uh, at CVS at the CVS store and where else I'm not sure yeah I think it was the CVS store that I bought it at so yeah, so I really like this, and then this brown color is so gorgeous. I, I'm in, like in love with this. I think this is probably like one of my favorite brown. The next lipsticks that I want to show you guys is a Revlon Matte Lipstick. So I actually have these in two shades. I um, have this in, what is this color called? Do they put names on their colors? 
they I don't see a name on this but I have it in this fuchsia color and then I have it in this nudish pink color different well similar applicator the foot applicator So again, the thing that I do like about this is the formula. The formula is very moisturizing on the lips. It is a cream matte lipstick so it doesn't dry up and I do like the pigment and the color is actually buildable on this. So um, one thing I also like is the way that it smells. It actually smells like juice. Like it smells like a, like a passion, like a, like a fruit, like fruit punch or something like that. But it smells really good. And these are one of my favorites as, these are my favorites as well. Lastly is my Maybelline Vivid Matte Lipsticks. So I purchased these in three different colors. Have a mad, a matte, a fuchsia, and a purple. If you guys don't know this, the trend already, I always buy lipsticks and fuchsia. Like I probably own like, like 10 different brands of lipstick in the same color. I really like fuchsia and I like them and yeah, I'm just weird. But anyway, so I'm gonna try on the fuchsia for you guys so you can see what it looks like and I can tell you about the formula. So it comes with the same uh, foot applicator. Um, also what I wanna like to say is that I like this small um, container that it comes in as well. Um, the formula in the Vivid Matte Liquid Maybelline Lip Gloss. The formula is very nice. Um, it's not a liquid to dry matte lipstick, but it is supposed to have a like a matte finish. Um, the color is very bright. It's moisturized to the lips and it doesn't do anything crazy. And the color is actually buildable as well. try but yeah if you guys like videos like these please stay um if you guys do like videos like these please be sure to thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching please do not forget to rate comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and on twitter bb hawaii underscore and i will see you guys soon hey guys be sure to check out my other videos i make beauty videos my advice videos and my hair videos also please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my instagram and my twitter which is bbhawaii underscore thank you guys so much again and i will see you guys in my next video